Welcome back for our farm and ranch news. Salt Lake City played host to Angus Convention 2022, and cattle producers from across the nation gathered to celebrate the successes of the Angus breed, while also looking towards the future of the business. While here, attendees learned more about the efforts of the certified Angus beef brand to educate consumers and producers alike on the role ranchers play on sustainable food production. We live in a world today where we see consumers who are asking the question, you know, they, they feel great about our beef from a taste perspective. And we see a lot of our consumer research that they trust what producers say, they just want to hear more from us. And the, their question at the end of the day um, comes down to animal care. Certified Angus Beef has kicked off a campaign called Cut the Bull, an effort to have cattle producers become beef quality assurance certified to help build even more confidence and trust with consumers buying beef. Certified Angus Beef has taken a much more proactive role in encouraging more of our farming and ranching community to become certified through Beef Quality Assurance. Not necessarily because we think they're doing things wrong. We know that our producers are doing things right, but we need a way for them to be able to get credit for the things they're already doing really, really well on a daily basis. We know from consumer research that when consumers are presented with a program like BQA in terms of how that trains farmers and ranchers to care for their cattle, that really boosts consumer confidence. And so we've, we've found today that while consumer trust is high with producers, they want trust with verification. Becoming BQA certified is free and you can do it online or in person. Kind of dubbed this whole cut the bull campaign around our BQA promotion um, because we're, we're taking the approach that we're trying to help producers cut through the bull of the misinformation that's out there for consumers. You know, if, if we told any of our producers that a consumer thinks they don't take care of their cattle, we know that's a load of bull. And the idea of in, encouraging producers to become BQA certified is a way for us to help cut through that bull and just do a better job of telling their story and allowing them to get credit for the great work they're already doing every day. For more on all these initiatives, visit CertifiedAngusBeef.com. We'll be right back. We are one of the most experienced in pasture rangeland forage. Honesty, commitment, trust. Many companies use these words. At AgRisk Advisors, we earn them. Returning back today, broadcasting from the Salt Palace here in Salt Lake City, we see that the Department of Agriculture has spent $450 million to combat this year's outbreak of highly pathogenic avian influenza. And losses among domestic flocks are nearing the record set seven years ago in the largest ever U.S. animal health emergency. The outbreak has driven up ag prices and tightened the supply of holiday turkeys. Some 49 million birds in backyard and commercial flocks, mostly chickens and turkeys, have died from the highly pathogenic influenza or were culled to prevent its spread, according to the Department of Agriculture. Roughly 50 million birds and domestic flocks died in a 2014-15 outbreak, which cost the poultry industry some $3.3 billion. Reporting from Angus Convention 2022 here in Salt Lake City, I'm Lee Nordman. Have a great day.